A good day to all of you and uh, welcome to the Vipro Private Cloud uh, Experience uh, Session. Uh, my name is Ram Prasad. I'm the Chief Technologist uh, who has been leading the uh, private cloud implementation at Vipro. And uh, I will walk you through the uh, journey of building the private cloud as well as share uh, some learning uh, from the technology uh, people and, and the process perspective. The Vipro Private Cloud uh, uh, development uh, started uh, a few years ago uh, in what is now called the Grid Computing Center of Excellence. And the team was working on dynamic provisioning solution. And during the course of this time, x86 virtualization became mainstream and widespread. And the teams integrated uh, grid computing and virtualization technologies uh, to create a, a private cloud. If you look back at the kind of uh, requirements or the characteristics that uh, was driving the need for a, a private cloud, uh, essentially there are uh, many pockets of, um, uh, of locations. Look at the drivers and the characteristics. Uh, essentially, it is uh, driven from the server sprawl, uh, the low utilization, and the lock into applications uh, without agility. Uh, technically, we had more than we have more than 1,000, 100,000 employees, with about 60,000 plus uh, software developers. There are thousands of servers used for development, staging, and testing. And in addition, we have servers that host our own IT app. These servers are sprawled, spread over several locations. And there are hundreds of labs which house these servers. So this was the first problem, the server sprawl. 100,000 plus employees, 60,000 plus software developers, server sprawl uh, all over the location. Uh, the second aspect is about utilization. We did the analysis in a few labs and found that the average utilization of servers was less than 15%. Uh, projects do not really use as much capacity as they had provisioned and there were several servers which uh, were simply turned on and not even accessed and used. Uh, some of these would uh, be run, remain running uh, throughout the year and uh, just uh, spend energy on that. So there was a great deal of spare capacity considering that only about 15% capacity was utilized. And in spite of that, we could not put in new applications uh, because of the silos uh, that these environments were created. And as ever, there was always a need for uh, new server procurement, and uh, there was plenty of uh, opportunity for consolidation in the energy space as well. And then if you look at agility, uh, most of the servers were logged into applications. You couldn't install new applications on this. Uh, there was a great diversity of technologies. There, was, there were all kinds of operating systems, from Linux to uh, uh, Windows to uh, Solaris x86. Uh, to uh, various flavors of uh, uh, Unix and, and things like that. Uh, so there were diversified workloads, uh, lack of agility, uh, server sprawl, uh, uh, things like this. Uh, networking primarily was, was another challenge, is that we would be in multiple server locations, uh, and each of these locations uh, would have their own uh, 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 setup, server setup, and these locations would need to use these effectively. So these are the typical characteristics we looked at when we wanted to set up a, a private cloud. Now, if you look at the approach that we took, you know, how did we go about uh, creating the uh, private cloud? Uh, obviously, the first most important things which came to our mind was, uh, you know, how, how do we do this? Do we use set up in a single location? Uh, uh, there are things like, can we do it on a single uh, data center, set up a cloud, and can all the locations back? What should be the architecture? You know, what should be the virtualization technology support? Uh, how do we do the provisioning of, uh, of images onto the, uh, onto the environment? Uh, should it be on VMware, Citrix? Uh, should we use uh, as a, a Zen uh, open source kind of an environment? Uh, what will be the needs of, of developers? And what kind of hardware do we use, existing hardware? Uh, we had plenty of existing hardware which was uh, underutilized. Can we use them? Or should we need to buy some, something completely new? So these were the typical uh, challenges that 
uh, that the opportunity uh, uh, thought about and uh, uh, this is the approach that we have taken is that we decided that we need to look at various cloud tech various virtualization technologies at that point of time there were not many uh, virtualization management tools available there were plenty of hypervisor environments but the management layers were, were technically missing uh, so we embarked on a on a journey to take a set of open source components and uh, and develop our own uh, uh, cloud solution on, on the top of these open source uh, components. So that was the first, uh, you know, initial uh, trials of uh, trying out the technology, selecting uh, various things that we decided. Uh, obviously, once uh, once we had to uh, once we uh, had to integrate these uh, private uh, uh, cloud technologies of virtualization and load balancing, uh, we would have to do a proof of concept. Uh, to prove that uh, these things are relevant, uh, they have the right uh, uh, environment, easy to manage, can uh, scale and perform within, uh, for the needs that we have. So we, this is a, these are various phases of the project. There was a cloud technology evaluation phase. Uh, there was a proof of concept developed. And then further to that, a private cloud solution was put in place, which was deployed for a test and development environment. And then to harden the environment, we have to roll out our own internal IS applications uh, as a proof of uh, the pudding and eating our own dog food. We tried most of our internal IS applications uh, onto the private cloud. Uh, now we are in the phase of rolling out the cloud solution across the, all locations. Uh, at the end of the presentation, I will share data about uh, what are the locations, uh, how many locations we currently in and how we will uh, scale it out uh, over a period of time. So when, when we started doing, uh, doing the cloud uh, technology evaluation, uh, we also wanted to find uh, candidate project teams which would be amenable to use the uh, private cloud. Uh, most importantly, the, uh, uh, the groups which uh, had to use the private cloud uh, what's supposed to be teams which could, uh, you know, uh, use an experimentation setup, uh, tolerate the kind of uh, scenarios a, a, a hack work uh, would create, create in, and that would not be very mature. So we chose what we call the centers of excellence. The CTO organization had more than 50-plus uh, centers of excellence, which was uh, reporting to them, and the agenda of the, of, of the centers of excellence were driven by the uh, CTO office. And these were teams which would uh, try try out new things, innovate, uh, push the envelope of thinking, uh, and they would be okay to do use an experimentation setup. And so we chose this uh, team, which were essentially the centers of excellence and the solutions team, uh, to be the first users uh, of this uh, cloud uh, setup. Going on, let's see how uh, how we set this up. We looked at the uh, technology selection, and these are the various functional blocks that we identified, uh, from, from driven from the basic characteristics that I uh, talked about earlier. Uh, these are the ba basic various uh, functional blocks. We wanted to create some kind of a self-service environment to employ, so that any employee could uh, sign on into a uh, into a website and be able to provision compute, uh, let's say uh, storage, uh, uh, network. And, and capacity uh, uh, compute access uh, without having to go through uh, any other uh, process steps of, of, or interaction with, uh, with any other uh, department. So the first thing that we wanted to do was create this. Uh, in terms of technologies, uh, we went around uh, various project teams and found that there was a great need for support of multiple hypervisors. Uh, there would be teams which would prefer uh, VMware. There would be other teams which